Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So, if you haven't seen from the picture or title already, today we are going to be installing this, which is the Raptor style uh, grill lights. And so basically what it's gonna do is each of these little balls right here is going to uh, be like amber lights to impersonate kind of a Raptor looking thing. But I like this one because it came with uh, four amber lights instead of the three like a raptor would have so basically how it's going to work is uh you're going to have to take off the grill so to do that you're going to have to take off this uh valence piece right here and then you're going to have to take off the grill i'm guessing you're going to have to take off the back part of the grill and the front part and this is just going to slide in there and you've got two little uh bolting hole things and then each of these lights is going to go through those holes like there 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 and there, something like that. Um, I don't think it should be too hard. And then we've just got a little plug and play harness that is gonna hook up into this headlight. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it will work if you have the stock headlights, uh, but I know with these Alpha Rex headlights, then in the backside they have another little extra connection thing that this guy should be able to plug right into. So install should be pretty easy. Hardest part, I think, will just be getting this light set in the grill here. Um, but you're going to have to take that off, which will suck, but got to do it. Uh, I bought it off of Stage 3 Motorsports. I think it was about 90 bucks. Um, but shouldn't be too hard. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to take off this piece right here. And to do that, you're going to have two bolts on each side, one here and one here. Same thing for the other side. I think they're, I wanna say seven millimeter. Uh, but you're gonna take that off and then this piece is gonna pull right off. You're gonna to have to undo all these clips here, pull that off. Um, if you want more precise details, look at the um, headlight installation video where I show the whole thing coming off. But uh, we're gonna pull all that apart and then I'll be back with you guys with installing this. All right, guys, so we got the whole front end here taken apart, got all the bolts on the ground and everything. Um, so now we have the grill lying over here. It'd be that it goes like this, so that's the top. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a bolt there, 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 and there. I think they're all eight millimeters. You take those out. We got another bolt right there to take out. And then I think you have these clips right down here to take off and then I believe the back part of this grill should be able to pop off so once um, you get all those out back part of this grill should come out all right so I got the back side of this taken out pretty much um, I got those out it was a 10 millimeter for there there and there and there and then the one in the middle was an 8 millimeter and it was pretty deep in there so you need an extension um, and so for me, that's good enough because I can't really do it with one hand, but you're able to pull this back and there's two holes on the top right there. Those line up with here and here. So basically you're going to stick it in and you're going to go in and then it's going to come up through. And then in the kit, it came with, um, two little bolts here and those are basically just going to screw right through those holes into there so shouldn't be too hard so take it you're going to slide it down in here put it down there like that and then you're going to take the bolts it came with and then you're just going to run them through these holes right here just like that get the other one lined up with the hole Finger stuck. and just like that comes with the washer and the bolt no nut needed because it's got that little clip on the back side of it which uh, it threads right into so then we can figure out where we're going to run the wiring through. I think I'm going to go straight through the back side through, well, I'll go up and under and come out through one of these top slots here. 
So I'll run the wiring through there and then I will get these tightened down. All right, so got everything put back together here. I got those bolts tightened back up on the side. Got that one put back in, in the middle right there. And super easy with how it worked. Um, the bolt went right there and right there. And just make sure you lift it up and over so that it's hard to see. So the threading is on the back side here and not on the front side or else the grill wouldn't uh, like properly be in place. And then I just kind of ran the wiring just right through here because the way I'm gonna have it hooked up is this is gonna go to that Alpha Rex headlight that I have put in because it's got the same kind of connector on it. Um, so it should be super easy. We shouldn't have to uh, cut anything, like splice it and rewire it. Um, the only thing is I am gonna have to pull that headlight out so I can get behind it, but that should be pretty easy. But I will pull that headlight and then um, we, we will plug this in and get everything put back together and it should work. So let's try that and hope it works. All right guys, so I got the thing wired up. Um, it does work, I tried it out. But so what I did was it said you could take the headlight out if you want to, otherwise you can just reach behind it. But there's not that big of a gap here. Um, so if you got tiny hands, I guess you could do it. So how it worked was there was like a, like a V-shape thing. So what happened was one end of the V went into what originally plugs into the park lights. The other side of that V went to this cord right here, which goes to the Raptor style lights. And then the other part of that plugged back into what came from the truck, which was what would originally plug into the park lights there. So I opened the door, it turns on with the park lights because that is how the wiring works for it. Um, all of them did light up, looks good. So we just got some extra wire right here. So what I'm gonna do is take the grill, put it back up here, and then I'm gonna make a little loop and put a zip tie in it. And then we should be, a be able to bolt everything back together and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna do that. And then I will show you guys uh, the final product. All right guys, and there we go, just like that. We got it put back in, got everything put back together. Install was super easy. Took uh, maybe 45 minutes or so, but that's just because you had to take everything apart, but it was still a super easy install. So the only downside I found about it was you have all these little Christmas tree clips in here. And just the spot where these two bolts went in here, that is uh, just where two Christmas tree clips went was right there. So um, you have minus two clips. You've got an extra two clips for yourself, I guess, for whatever you want. But it's not like this thing's gonna move around at all. There's another like 50 of them, all just in that piece there. So that I guess you could say is the only downside to it. But other than that, worked pretty well. So let me get the hood closed and I'll show you guys the lights. And there we go. It's uh, hard to tell on camera, but those lights are super bright. They're brighter than even the DRLs that go on the outside there and the amber lights for your turn signal. They're super bright. I think it looks really good. I, like, I honestly think I like it better than the original three lights that are like on the Raptor and stuff. So yeah, when you hit unlock, it does that. Pretty sweet, those sequential headlights. Go check out my video on them if you want more information about them or on really better detail on how to take the whole front end here apart because I kind of went through it pretty fast. But uh, go check out that video if you want. Um, but yeah, I think overall they look really well. Like I said before, I got it from Stage 3 Motorsports. Um, and just like you can see here, this would be the normal just daytime mode. Is just the DRLs on without those uh, Raptor style lights because those turn on with the park lights. And so... For that to be enabled, you have to have on either your park lights or your headlights on. Um, but when you're just normally driving around during the day, at least for these headlights, just that DR DRL bar turns on. And I believe when you just have the stock like halogens, then um, you wouldn't have anything on in the middle of the day. But uh, yeah, they were about 90 bucks from Stage 3 Motorsports. Uh, link for them, or link for it is in the description. Uh, be sure to go check it out, and 
drop a comment, like, share, whatever you want to do. Let me know what you guys think about it. Tell me what else you guys want to see done to the truck. But as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.